What's up, wizards? Let's check out Element Ref. Element Ref is a type that comes from React, and you can use it to strongly type use ref in a really nice, easy to read way. Now, you can use it. Let's say you're in this situation where you've got a use ref down here and you want to pass it a type so that you can strongly type your audio ref down there. Now you can figure this out because you can actually like look at this big old thing here and you can see, okay, this is a HTML audio element. That's what this is expecting. And so actually you can do that if you kind of like, you know, pull it in and like, this is actually a global type that's available just from lib.dom.d.ts. And it means now that you'll be able to, in a use effect, let's say, play and pause your audio ref. Fantastic. But this is a bit hard to figure out, and wouldn't it be great if there was a type helper that you could use to just extract this information? Well, you can use element ref. And now element ref, you basically just grab it, you know, from React here, and you can just pass it any type that's available in the global scope. So audio, span, div, whatever, and it will just work. It just like pings out the correct type so that this audio ref now is typed as react.ref object HTML audio element. You can even use it for other components that have forward ref on them too. So this one now, this other component that we're getting from, you know, some other file, it's actually working properly. Like it's, it expects a table ref, but how are you supposed to know that if you don't like use the component or if you didn't build the component, you can go and look at it, sure. But what if you could just grab the ref that you needed right from the component itself? So you can actually just use element ref and pass type of other component to get it working. Beautiful. And now this ref right here is a ref object HTML table element. Fantastic. So element ref here is a really, really nice component that you can use in a bunch of different ways to either to basically make use ref just not a problem anymore in terms of TypeScript. And I wish I'd known about this years earlier. And in fact, I didn't include this in my free React and TypeScript tutorial. So I might need to go and edit that and change it to add it back in. But anyway, I just wanted to stop by with this really cool tip and I will see you very soon.